Yo, 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 what's up, 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 guys? I'm back again with another video. Uh, guys, this time we got a great matchup here. It's going to be on the Turtle Wax, Ice, Lock, Shine, Ceiling versus McGuire's Four Year Paint Protect. Okay. Now, as I said, let it cure out. I'm just letting both of them sit up here. Anywhere from three to five minutes. Already got the products applied to the hood. And I may just hit it again a little bit more with that turtle wax. Because the um, the Meguiar's is a little bit more greasier than the turtle wax. So um, that's how I'm going to do it. As you can see the two. And so we can go ahead and hit it with that turtle wax. Mm. Just put a little bit. Now, I don't put one coat up here, guys. Just plow out. No, because the stuff is so thin. That's all it takes right there at the center. Okay. So, we go ahead and wipe this area here in with it. Okay. Right, I'm going to let it sit about three to five minutes, and then I'm going to buff it away. All right. So, um, as you know, the turtle wax can be had, the lock ceiling can be had on Amazon. It's around you like $10. Also states it lasts up to 12 months. As you can see right there. Same thing for this one. Paint protector ceiling lasts up to two of the year. That's what it's saying. So we, what I want to see, which one of these is going to be water better than the other? So that tells me how good it bees water. That lets me know if these are even capable of lasting four or five months. You know, of course they're going to put a year on the container because they want you to buy into it. It's just like with anything else, you know, it's going to be, well, hoping they'll buy into it. Who wouldn't if you're trying to sell a product? Of course, you'll put the last five years if you thought it helped make a sale. Because I would be the exact same way. Alright, so that being said, now when I want to test these products, which one of them is more hydrophobic than the other one, that'll really tell me, well, you know, would this really last a year? Uh, could I get six months out of it? Three? Two months? <laughs> uh, even a month, you know? <laughs> Because I just keep it real with you guys about some of these products. Uh, even a month, you know. Could I get a month out of it? You know. Maybe one or two rains and stuff halfway gone, you know. We don't know. No. But uh, we shall find out. Anyway. Guys, it's been almost three minutes. Well, it has been three minutes. Put you guys on pause. Get my water bottle together. Hang tight and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back in a flash. I'm reloaded. I got my water bottle on point and everything. So now, I think it's both of them has been up here long enough. I'm just going to buff them back off and we're going to water test them. Now the Meguiar's paint protectors, paint protectors in the bargain bin now. Uh, I think you can get that even on, probably on Amazon for probably about 6 or $7. I paid two ninety nine for it, as you can see right there. It's a Rose's store. Matter of fact, I bought three, four bottles of it. I bought them, all the ones that they had in there. It's been a while back now, but when I see detailing products on clearance or something like that, I just buy all of them, you know. Just buy them out. Because I know at some point I'm going to use them, you know. I'm going to use them, you know what I'm saying. So that's why I buy all of them out. All right, so we're going to start buffing off here. This is the paint protector by the Meguiar's. Let's hit that one first. Here we go. Let's close the tops down. Okay. That paint protect the kind of greasy light, you know, but it buffs off really easy. Okay.
bumps all really nice and easy. But going on, it's kind of greasy. So, uh, <laughs> it's all on. All right. So now, let's wipe away the turtle wax. Let's see what this is. The stuff it goes on so thin, it's hardly like anything on the paint, in my opinion. But who knows? Maybe it's throwing something? I don't know. So thin, it's kind of hard to say this stuff. Is it really doing anything, you know? It's kind of hard to say, isn't it? Is it really doing anything, though? Start really going up there thin, like, you know? All right, now, both products is all off. So now what we're going to do, we're going to start a water testing on the McGuire side first. All right, guys, here we go. The McGuire's paint protector. It's beating super good. Doesn't take a lot of water, like I always tell you guys. The minute it hit the car, you can see how it's going to bead off the paint. See this? This stuff is very hydrophobic, as you can see. The McGuire's paint protected. Very hydrophobic. Now, I'm convinced. Now, this stuff going to last a while. I can tell by the beading action of it. See there? It's going to last. Oh, yeah, it beads up off the paint really well with that stuff up there. I said it'd give you at least six months, 46. Especially, it's so easy to apply and just let it sit and buff it back off. I mean, it's just so easy to work with. You can apply once a month, and it won't hurt nothing with the technology McGuire's got right there. All right, so let's move over here to the Turtle Wax Ice Shine Lock Sealant. Here we go. On this thing too. Remember what I told you guys? Doesn't take a lot of water to see the difference. Doing a good job too. But the bees just not as tight as the paint protector. But it's close. See here. Turtle wax. I would say, see here, here's the paint protector. I said the bees just a hair tighter on the McGuire side, but it's so close, you know, so close to call. Both are beating up very nicely. So it might be just the hair on the McGuire's, but. Uh, like I said, it's too close to really call because both of them really doing this thing, you know. So, but considering the price of the paint, paint protector now, I still could swing it to Meguiar's on this one. And plus, this is a 16 ounce of product, guys. 16 ounce versus uh, 4 ounce vial of turtle wax. And the bees is just a hair bit tighter. On the McGuire side, guys, versus this. Plus, this was two ninety nine, and this was, I think, it was ten dollars. That was ten. That's two ninety nine. We're talking seven dollar difference there. Plus, the McGuire's give you sixteen ounces versus four ounces. So, if that can get a year out of the paint protector by McGuire's versus a year out of Turtle Wax, lock seal it. Then, in my opinion. I'm going to go with the Meguiar's because I'm getting 16 ounces. You know, I get enough to do several cars with the uh, Meguiar's paint protector. Plus, in this, the Meguiar's is cheaper. It be water just a hair bit better with the Meguiar's. So, I got to get a one or two Meguiar's on this one, guys. Even though the Turner Wax Lock Sealant is really good, though. Don't get me wrong, but it's just a four ounce. It ain't really, really going to do too many cars. It's not like McGuire's get three times more product, you know, than Turtle Wax does in this one. And um, that's where I got the rule, man. So the winner here is the McGuire's Paint Protector. I got to give it up. All right. 
And like I said, this is in the bargain bin now. This was only $2.99. That's all I paid for it. I bought like four or five of them. All they had left in there. Rose's store. And you see how hydrophobic this stuff is right here? I mean, it's beating up nicely. Check it out. Just put it up there. Let it sit three to five minutes. That's what the directions say. And buff it back off. That's all you got to do. Same thing for this one, but this is a little thin. The turtle wax stuff is a little thin, but it beads water really well, as you can see there. It does its thing, but McGuire's just got the edge just a little, and plus the price difference. Plus, it's a whole lot more product. So, the winner is the McGuire's Paint Protector, guys. That's the way I'm going to call it. Anyway, y'all new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. Y'all got to get up on both of these products, man. Both of them are great. I've done reviews on both of them before. All right? But today, the winner is McGuire's Paint Protector. All right? Till next time, y'all take care. I'll hit y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.